there. Welcome to the garden. Today I am planting up some of the okra seedlings and um, some of the zinnia seedlings and I think some of the amaranth seedlings too that I got started oh just a few weeks ago. I'm not gonna uh, plant everything today but there's a few that I just want to get out into um, bigger spaces especially the okra which is looking great and <laughs> Today we're gonna to be planting in sort of less than ideal um, containers over here in the container garden, but that's what happens at this time in the season. Um, you know, we're kind of like mid season, all the containers are full. Um, so we don't really have like the ideal, ideal setting, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. And that's sort of gonna be the theme of the garden project for today. So I'm actually gonna be repurposing these um, trays from my green stock. I didn't end up setting up my whole green stock here in this garden. Basically with just how my garden plan um, ended up, I, I didn't end up putting together the actual green stock. Uh, but, um, and I definitely plan on putting it together once we get into um, like the next big garden setup. But for now, I'm just gonna actually use these bases as like a container. Really decent size container. Um, a little bit maybe like low, but I think it's gonna be fine. And I'm actually gonna plant, I think the okra in here and just create some some really beautiful containers, just sort of using this as, as a container. You really don't, you know, of course it's nice when you have the ideal uh, container set up. It's nice to be able to, you know, plant things in beautiful decorative containers. But sometimes, in a, especially in a container garden, like that just doesn't happen. And sometimes, um, I don't know, you just get to a point where you're like, I just, I want to plant some stuff and I'm going to use what, where what I, I have. Got. I think that's especially given the temporary status of this garden. I'm just not, no. Okay, I'm gonna go get the seedlings. I'm just not at that place where I'm really feeling like I want to, actually I have some big containers, but I just don't even wanna unpack them. Like I'm just getting to that point in the garden season where it's July, I've got a few seedlings I wanna plant out, but I'm just gonna pop them in the containers that I've got and we're just gonna make it work. I also may plant some of these actually in ground. They are doing really, really well. So this is the okra and this guy has a beautiful amaranth growing in it. We've got a few more of these okra plants. Look how good these seedlings are. This has actually really inspired me. Like I'm gonna start more okra from seed like this and this size cell, this is like a really good size um, for starting seedlings. You can kind of tell the difference. Like this is the okra or and the amaranth started in like this big, um, what is this? Like a four inch, you know, seed starting cup. And then this is it started in like these little tiny seed cells. You can just see the size difference, right? So this has kind of inspired me. I have a few um, left over and I was gonna throw them out, but I think I'm gonna save some of these and start using them as like my seed starting cups because that's really nice and beautiful. And then here's a bunch of the zinnias. So, you know, this, the roots are starting to come out. I don't feel like I'm desperate to plant any of these out, but I'm just gonna plant a few. And the okra, we're gonna do some, let's see. Oh, why not, right over here? How many can we fit? You know, I figured we could do like, these are gonna be big plants. You know, this amaranth <laughs> is gonna turn into this size plant, really nice and big. So I don't think we need too many plants. So maybe like an okra, zinnia, some zinnias, some cosmos. Maybe we'll do two of the same containers. In a small garden, it's so hard because you wanna do different things, right? You wanna like, you have only have so much space your garden's small you want to do like different things over and over again but sometimes just doing some of those repeats actually ends up being really nice um and it makes like a more cohesive look in your garden in general so maybe we'll just do the same thing and then do one of the okra in the ground let's Space do that where we've got the melons these are actually uh melon vines but when i move them off here there's actually some like in-ground space. So I think I'm gonna plant one of the okra in there. And then we'll do another one, as I said, over in the container. It just works wonders, right? Things just do so well in ground and they tend to just grow so beautifully. So I have a feeling, woo, it's windy. I have a feeling they're gonna do really, really good, that, that okra plant there. So we'll just pop one of those in there. I'm gonna throw, this guy actually has an amaranth growing right next to it as well. So let's put it, you know, right there. I think that's gonna be good. All right. 
So um, this in-ground little area has done better than I even imagined that it would. It's really like everything's been growing really well in it. And I'm really hoping that we actually might end up getting some um, melons on these vines. They're covered in blooms now. And they're kind of growing really well. Perfect, because it's like, it's just perfectly ready to get in the ground. Yeah. Keep it well watered. Beautiful. And we'll see how that grows. We're gonna have to put a little bit more amaranth, I think, along um, along the line here. But I think I'm gonna leave it in that seed, the seed trays, and let it get just a little bit bigger. Um, I think it hopefully it'll do pretty well in, in transplant. And I'm just gonna make sure that I'm fertilizing those uh, little seed cells as we go here, so that they get enough nutrients. But this looks great. Okay, so the whole goal with the look of this container is just kind of like a flowery meadow style um, look. And these are all pretty big plants, uh, to be honest. Now, the soil reservoir in this container that I have here is not ideal. These plants would love, maybe the zinnias wouldn't mind. The zinnias and cosmos do find a container, but like the amaranth, and the okra, they would love to be planted in ground or like in a really big, you know, I would go for like a whiskey barrel, you know, like a really nice big container. That would be ideal. It's not <laughs> what we've got right now. And I just wanna get these guys in some kind of container and do something a little fun and kind of intrigued at how they're gonna do in this, this space. So we're just kind of putting them all in. And as you can see, I just kind of did like, there's two Cosmos here. These are the radio mix Cosmos. I think this is the Queen Lime Red Zinnias. So there's a three over here and then one back here. And then we've got the Amaranth and we've got an Okra. And it's just gonna be like sort of this wild little, um, this wild little random container, just, in a, just using up the space in this soil, um, just kind of making it work, honestly. What's nice about the, uh, these green stock planters is they're really good heavy duty planters and the plants grow really well in them. It doesn't look like a lot of soil reservoir, but I've actually been like when I actually did this as a stacking um, stock, I'll probably put in a picture in case you don't know what a green stock looks like. Yeah, um, they actually grow really well. You'll be shocked at what you can grow. So now I've got like just basically a cute little field and then we can just watch and see how all these plants develop. Um, it's gonna be interesting. I, I don't think that the okra as I said, I, I don't know if the okra and the amaranth are going to grow to their fullest, fullest, huge potential size, uh, but hopefully they'll have enough space to at least grow up a little bit and be fun and decorative and all of that. All right, there they are. Both of them planted up. They don't look like much right now. This is what happens with, you know, like little starts. They don't look like a whole lot right now, but they are going to grow up more and more and be so, so fun. So I'm actually probably just going to leave them over here in this area. They get a decent amount of sun, um, especially for right now. They're not going to get overheated. This isn't one of like my most intense spots. And I'm just going to water them in, make sure they're getting the weekly fertilizer schedule. And then as they continue to grow, we'll move them out into the rest of the container garden. Uh, but right now I just don't have, you know, a spot where I want them yet. But once they're big, we'll find them room. Look at these beautiful Mystic Illusion Dahlias. While I'm out here, I'm going to go ahead and check the cucumbers. I may go ahead and pop some of those zinnia starts in this bed because these cucumbers are kind of fading. I don't know if it's the heat or, or what is bugging them, but something is bothering them. There's a little guy. I think I saw one over here too. There's another one. So some of the salad bush cucumbers are still really producing well. I also may need to get in here and get some of these Roma tomatoes. How beautiful do those look? Is that not perfect? It's just getting really hot out here. I better, I better water these in quick. We are coming up to another really big heat wave um, this week. So 
it's probably good that I got those little starts into some bigger bigger spots because yeah with this heat it's just so hard in the small containers um, but I do like I, I'm gonna keep these other ones in the little tray that they've got um, so they are on a little tray and that is really, really handy because I can just fill that up. Every time I water, I just fill that tray up with water. And honestly, by the end of the day, the, the, the water is gone. So um, it's not like they're just like sitting in water too much um, and, and suffering. They, they, they are okay, but you just have to because it's so, so hot. But anyways, it would be so fun to wash the okra. Okra is such a fun plant, so I'm glad I finally got it into a nice little spot in the garden. Um, and that's all for today because it is getting way too hot out here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.